Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is time for yet another Three Minute Thursday. Do you think we'll make it under three minutes this time? Probably not. Today we're going to be reviewing the Thames and Cosmos Simple Machines Physics Kit. If you're not familiar with our Three Minute Thursday videos, they are short, but probably longer than three minutes, homeschool product reviews. We put these products through the paces first so you can decide if you want to invest in them for your cooperative or homeschool environment. Okay, that's it for the intro. Let's get started. Today we're going to be reviewing the Thames & Cosmos Simple Machines Physics Kit. It advertises itself as an introduction to mechanical physics for the ages 8 and up by providing 26 projects to learn about the 6 simple machines. We bought this with our own money at our local bookstore. And since we're not sponsors, we're not going to mention any names. Just like the other Thames & Cosmos Physics Kit, this one has the Parents' Choice Gold Award. And I didn't recognize it at the time but the award itself is kind of creepy. It looks like a woman with a bunch of babies. And it also correlates to the NGSS standards, which is great, but I have no idea what that means. So let's get into it. All right. So as we open it, we have bags of parts. We have a empty bottle. All right. More bags of parts. An instruction booklet. The instruction booklet does go into some detail about the science behind simple machines. Although it's a small instruction booklet, and there's no assessment at the end, so you're on your own for that one. With that said, let's try a few projects. The different steps in each project are depicted in pictures, much like they are in Legos. So if your child loves Legos, then they'll enjoy this. The first project we did talked about levers and it did a good job explaining how they're used to decrease the amount of force to use large objects. Here, you can see them using the lever at different distances from the fulcrum to see how those distances change and how that changes the amount of force needed to lift the object. The next demonstration shows them how it's easier to move large objects with the wheel and axle. Kind of common sense, but a great demonstration for the kids to learn on. All in all, this was a nice set of projects for any science curriculum. That being said, there was some overlap with this kit and the previous physics kits we introduced. The other physics kit had more projects. Indeed, that set was a bit more comprehensive. It had 36 projects compared to the 26 of this one, although it was more expensive. So if this one is in your budget, it's definitely a good start introducing your kids into some science topics, especially physics. I'll leave a link for both kits in the description below, along with the link to the video of the other kit that we did previously. We hope you found this video useful. And if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. We do weekly videos all about homeschooling with the science flair. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.